Hey everyone, Dion here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to update RetroPie. It's a good idea to update RetroPie from time to time, but there are some things to consider before you do. If your RetroPie is working the way you want it to, I'd consider not updating it ever. Sometimes updates can break custom work you've done or things you've set up, or potentially break things entirely. I would recommend updating when you first set up your RetroPie and then leave it alone after that. If you can't resist the bug to update, I'd recommend looking into doing a backup of your SD card first and then go through the process of updating. There is a link in the description on how to do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll want to do to get your RetroPie updated is go to the configuration menu and go down to RetroPie setup. Once you're in RetroPie setup, you'll go down to update and we'll say yes. And it will go ahead and download the latest RetroPie update script. Once it's done that, we can say OK. And it'll start the update process. It'll ask you to just verify that you're OK with things. It'll give you some information that about downloading a ready-to-go image from the RetroPie website. We'll just hit OK. Here it's going to ask you to update the OS. This is the part that can break things, so just be prepared. We'll go ahead and hit Yes. This process can take a while, so you may just have to sit back and let it go for 15 or 20 minutes. Once RetroPie has gone through and updated the OS, it'll go through and update all of the emulation cores for the different gaming systems. Once all the updates are done, RetroPie will let you know. We can go ahead and hit OK. And it will take us back to the menu where we can manage some of the RetroPie settings. Um, the best thing to do after an update is to go ahead and perform a reboot. So we'll go ahead and say yes, and we'll wait for our RetroPie to start back up. And that's it. Like I mentioned in the beginning, updating RetroPie is a good idea. Sometimes. You have to be careful. Anyway, check out my other videos in my RetroPie series to learn more about setting up RetroPie. Thank you guys for stopping in. If you have any suggestions for a video, make sure to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.